This is another video requested by you guys. How to find the drill arm in Subnautica. I'll show you two spots in which you can potentially find the drill arm. And yes, it is a chance. You can actually have no drill arms in the location that I show you, but there will be a chance for them to spawn. Based on how the spawns work in this game, there will be a guarantee that if you go to both of these spots, you will unlock the drill arm. Not to go too much into detail on how the spawning works in this game, but there is a minimum guaranteed amount of fragments that will show up in your world, no matter what. So another thing to take into account while following video guides like this is that the life pod does not spawn in the same spot. Each playthrough is randomized. Therefore, if you want to follow this guide exactly, let's start at the back of the Aurora. So for this guide, obviously the minimum requirement is a scanner. You need to scan the stuff in, right? <laughs> Makes sense. And the second recommended thing is that you have at least a rebreather, an oxygen tank, and I do recommend that you have a CMOF, which makes it so much easier. And if you want to find out on how to get the CMOF fragments, you can check out the video on the screen right now and in the description down below. Another note is that I'm going to heavily rely on reference points, but I do recommend that you have a compass so you can actually tell which direction I'm currently going. Alright, so as mentioned, we are starting at the back of the Aurora, near the engines. And if we turn around, we'll see this shipwreck. And we're going to use this shipwreck as a starting point for this guide. Alright, so once you're above this shipwreck, you're going to face the direction in which you can see that there is some boulders and a coral tube on the left side, which is about north. And if you have a compass, just go exactly north. At this point, we're going exactly in the direction where LifePod 6 is located, so if you have a waypoint for that, you can enable it and go towards it. And if you're going in the right direction, you will notice that there's some column-like structures, keep them to the left. You will also notice that there's a small drop in this plateau, that means you're going in the right direction. Now just go along the edge of this drop while keeping the column-like structures on your left. And here we go, that is life pod number 6 right ahead of us and if you look behind it there's another shipwreck that we are going to use as a reference point in this guide. So next we are going to swim above the shipwreck and look for a spike on the hill behind it. As you can see the textures have not loaded in yet but yeah here to the right we have this spike. Use that to align yourself towards the next location. And for those of you that have a compass, you will notice that we are still pretty much going north. Alright, so beyond this scalp area, you will notice that there's a mountain right behind it. And there's the foot of the mountain. Let's just swim up a little bit and turn to the left. You are going to follow this mountain along on the left until you find a drop. You will also notice that there's a bump over here, so beyond this bump, you will find the drop that I'm talking about. And in that drop, you will find a cave, but we're not going to that cave. And here's the drop. It goes down to about 200 meters, but we're going to stay at 170 meters. And if you have a good look around, you will see that there's a cave over here. So this cave is an excellent reference point, so if you find it and you face away from it, it's going to point you exactly in the direction you need to go to find the shipwreck. Now all you have to do is follow this valley along, and don't make this mistake, the shipwreck is 170 meters deep, so the valley drops to 250 meters. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you get notified about any future uploads. Okay, so this is the first spot that I wanted to show you, and this is where you will find some drill arm fragments around the shipwreck, and also you can potentially find some drill arm fragments inside of it. So actually my first save game did not contain any drill arm fragments around this area and as I said there's a potential chance that they might spawn here. There is no guarantee that they will spawn in either location, but if you visit both of them as I also mentioned, there is a high probability that you will find enough for the blueprint unlock. And if you don't find any drill arm fragments outside 
don't be discouraged because there could be some drill arm fragments inside of this shipwreck. Fortunately, in this playthrough I was lucky and there were two drill arm fragments outside of the shipwreck. And the reason I also like this shipwreck a lot is that it has the potential to spawn in some cyclop fragments and there is also a high chance of finding some grappling arm fragments so that's just a bonus for your prawn suit. Alright, if you had bad luck with the first location or for some reason you don't want to go to the first location, I'll show you another location that you can go through. This one will be much simpler to get to. And as before, we are using the back of the Aurora as our reference point. We are also going to go to that shipwreck as a starting point. Now you have to look for this coral tube with this rock that's above it that has this hole in it. It's very significant so you can't miss it. The next thing you will be looking around for is another shipwreck. Well, it's a small debris field, not really a shipwreck. And there it is, there's the little debris field. From here, you're going to turn left until you see this biome which is oddly similar to the previous biome. Now you're going to align yourself to the right of these column-like structures and keep yourself in between the edge of the biome which is this wall on the right and these columns. Now keep going forward, do not turn yet. Yeah, go between these two columns over here and once you reach and go beyond these two columns, go to the right and you will see a shipwreck over here. Another shipwreck, another reference point. Now go above this shipwreck and if you stop here, you will notice that there's two short columns over here. One on the right, run one on the left. Go towards this one on the left, go forward, and if you keep on going, you will reveal this mountain over here. There are kind of two peaks to this mountain, and there's a little cut in between them. Yeah, go right in between them. Now this is a great way to align yourself towards the next shipwreck. Just go into this small valley. Yeah, keep on dropping to the bottom, and you will find the shipwreck that you are looking for. Also, at this point, you will reach 200 meters, so if you don't have an upgraded Seamoth, it will start to take damage. So just make sure to stop here and you can actually free dive down and look for the drill arm fragments. But since I'm in creative mode, for demonstration purposes, I will keep on going. And somewhere around the shipwreck, you might find the drill arm. You also might have to look inside the shipwreck itself. And here we have the drill arm fragments, but how do you find an entry point to the shipwreck? Well, I do recommend going from the bottom, it's the easiest way to find the entry point. So the shipwreck has two chambers in it. One is on the first floor, did not contain any drill arm fragments, but the second room on the top did have some drill arm fragments. So just have a good look around. Thank you so much for watching till the end and if you enjoyed this video or if you found it helpful make sure to like it and also consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you get notified about any future uploads. This is Avantech signing off and I shall see you somewhere on 4546B.